I do not get the option to allow external members to join space when creating a new space. So that's interesting. So if I recreate what this person's talking about inside of Google Chat, when you go to create a new space, here, create a space, you have the option to allow external members to join or not. And that should be self-explanatory. This basically says, is this chat room gonna be open to people outside my company or is it gonna be restricted to just our business? And the thing is that you have to set this up when you create the space. You can't change this at a later date, which is, you know, I think a bit of a bummer, <laughs> but I guess it's reasonably good for security that no one accidentally, you know, exposes data that people think is internal data to external. But it does get a bit annoying if you've got like a big chat room with a bunch of history and you wanna change this setting. Either you wanna take something that was external and make it private only internal, or you wanna take something that was internal and just add like one contractor from outside the company. It gets pretty frustrating. Anyway, so choose wisely when you create a room. You gotta make sure that you get this ticked correctly. But if it's not there at all, I'm gonna assume that's a policy issue. And so for policy issues, we need to go and look in the admin panel. So if you're new, you head to admin.google.com. And typically I recommend search is usually the easiest way to find your way around. So I'm actually gonna search for our external space and just see if it happens to come up. Here we go. So we've got chat and space access defaults. They look like they would be pretty useful. There's also chat externally, external chat settings. So let's go ahead and look at our chat settings here. Okay, so we have service settings. Is this switched on? Yes, chat is switched on. History for chats and space history. I don't think we need either of those. Okay, I think I need to go up one level to settings for Google chat. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at some of the settings. All right, external spaces. Allow users to create and join spaces with people outside their organization. Switched on. So if I were to switch that off, there we go. I can also leave it on and have only whitelisted domains, which is pretty cool. There we go. You can choose to lock it down to certain domains, but otherwise you can just leave it on for everyone if you wanna leave it on for everyone. So this person obviously has that set incorrectly. You've also got some adjacent settings like the ability to switch on and off chat invitations and the ability to switch on and off external chat settings. So there are two other things where it might be related to external users. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.